Hey everybody, it's James. Today I'm gonna bitch a little bit about minimum wage jobs. I don't know if you've heard of them, but Jesus Christ, if you have one, do you really want it? A few videos back I mentioned that I was getting kind of tired waiting for um, Veterans Affairs help, and then I'd get a job. Oh, do I hate that job? Do I hate that job? I work at a hotel. That's right. I'm a person who cleans rooms. I knock on the door and say, housekeeping or not like that i say housekeeping i do my best not to feel <laughs> beyond awkward but my god man the emotional maturity at this place is like non-existent it's not even like working with high schoolers it's like working with a bunch of honestly like fucking 14 year olds i have heard so much gossip since i've started there i know who's cheating on who i know who has handicapped children i know that some people think that those children are handicapped because the parents got their children vaccinated. I know that some of the people have fantasies about going into these rooms and coming across the most beautiful guest ever and having an amazing sexual encounter. <laughs> I kind of don't want to know any of this stuff, to be very honest with you, but it's just the way it is. They're very gossipy people, um, hotel cleaners. Another thing that can be a little annoying is that tons of booze in this job, you know? That's definitely something I'm trying to stay away from. And let's be honest, it's mainly ladies. Housekeepers, I imagine everywhere are mainly ladies. At this hotel, I am the only guy. I think there is another guy who's like, he washes clothes, you know? And that seems like its own form of hell, by the way. All day in this really loud room and like wall to wall, washers and dryers going just That's what you hear for like eight hours. And then you're just around a bunch of gossipy people and you can't even really hear what they're saying. I don't know. That would drive me fucking nuts. I'd have to wear headphones. And you can wear headphones while you clean rooms. And that's kind of nice. That's like a saving grace to this job. It is. I've just got to be honest and just, just say that I, I really hate this job. I think I have to quit. I just hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate the people that I work with. I hate what they talk about. I hate how they talk. I don't particularly like like the guest cleaner dynamic. It's really fucking weird. It just is, you know? And it's like a magic trick that I can, like, fold myself into this role to begin with. That I can, like, go from homeless guy renting a room in the shelter to, Oh, hi. Can I take your pizza box out for you? <laughs> That's hard enough. It's hard enough on me. Which is hurting. It's hurting me a lot lately. And it's not even like a hard job. It's super easy. I only work five hour days, four days a week. I mean, I work 20 hours a week and I can at least pay my bills. You know, like my rent is very cheap, but I can pay my rent and I can pay my internet and I can pay my phone and that's it. I don't have a cent left over. And I've kind of realized too, since I've had this job, I've really stopped going outside again. Like I only go outside to walk to my job. Um, it's dark in my room because my light burned out. So today I was going to make a video outside. And then I looked outside and I saw like all the people walking around. And I just was like, I feel so fucking homeless. I'm going to stay indoors all day again today. And that's what I'm doing. You know? I, I don't know why. But I feel like the amount of self-hatred that's slowly building up working this hotel cleaning job is affecting me like in those other ways, you know, like I feel I'm already that type of guy, right? Like I'm embarrassed to myself. I don't want to fucking go outside, dude, you know, like it sounds nice being teleported somewhere outside where there's no people sounds nice, but the issue is getting there. You know, that's a, that's a big mental hang up for me is getting there. That's just a big one for me. And it's not like I was ever good at it or like the last few years, like a long time ago before I was so messed up I was I could be outside like a normal person but it's difficult now man and I feel like it's even more difficult with a shitty job that I hate you know it's just and it's only 20 hours a week but it's 20 hours a week I fucking hate with a passion and it's like I don't want to go outside I don't really have any money left over so I can't say anything like I got a little money in my pocket man you know I can't throw out any colloquialisms that make it sound like it's okay it's just it's just sucky i hate this job and i would get another job i'm just 
I'm nervous about it. Um, <clears throat> I live kind of in a competitive area, even for like trash jobs. You know, there's lots of college kids where I'm at. And a college kid will always get hired over a homeless person. And so that, like, here's an example. Why I took this job, because I would never want to be a hotel cleaner. You could probably look at me and think he'd be a horrible hotel cleaner. And you, you're right. I don't have the attitude for it. It is like, I lose brain cells acting nice. It hurts me. I'm not built to do that. But why I took this job previously, there's a pizza place. And I applied to be a dishwasher, your boy. And it was so competitive, I could just tell for the second interview. Yes, there were two interviews for this fucking thing, man. It's so embarrassing living in a college town and being homeless. So I'm at the second interview, and I can just kind of tell I don't have it. Just the way the manager is talking, she's just kind of being very curt, very like, well, thanks for stopping in. And I'm thinking, like, why the fuck did you ask me to come? This is, like, so apparent that you did not choose me. You did not have to have me come in a second time just to tell me to my face you didn't choose me. <clears throat> and so I throw something out, you know, because this is, this is the total vibe. This is what I'm picking up. She's about to end the conversation. You're not the one who I chose. So I just throw out, like, hey, you know, um, I am a veteran, so I'm good for a tax break. I don't know who this other person is, but if you hire them, your company is not going to get a tax break. You hire me, you'll get a tax break, which for one, I think is kind of funny anyway. Like, summing up my whole life as worthless as it's been, you know, just selling myself on, hey, I can get you a fucking government tax break. You know, that's cool, right? That's funny to me just because it, it makes me feel a certain way about myself. I didn't think it would be a big deal. And she looks at me. And she says verbatim, Sir, now I'm definitely not going to hire you because you were just trying to bribe me. I think it's time that you leave. I, I couldn't even say anything back, like get mad or anything. Bribing? Like that was bribery. Being like, hey, I'm a veteran hiring me. Get your business a tax break? Like a for whatever like the one veteran's worth, you get a one veteran tax break. You know, and it just caught me off guard. Because here I am, like, really trying to sell myself to this fucking dish pit. You know, that already feels horrible. I haven't been, like, homeless all my goddamn life, you know? Like, I've been homeless for a long time. But I haven't always, you know? I had dreams and hopes and aspirations at one point. And the more sober I am is the more, the you know, those, those return to me. And I, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you, like, how bad that was a blow to my ego. Or it was, like a dishwasher job and that's some shit dude like 10 years ago i'm not changing the topic hear me out you know when people say like hey the older generation will give you working advice or like advice on how to apply to a job and it's cooked like that advice doesn't fucking work anymore they're right all that um yeah just sell yourself bullshit no people look at you like there's something wrong with you you're not supposed to do that anymore. like go go in for a, a pen and paper application you just look like a homeless person. That's all. That's all that'll happen. You'll just look like a homeless person. I, I think the one that actually works a little bit it still is calling after you put an application in, but that's just common sense. Just like communication raises your chances, right? That just, to me, that makes sense. But like, if you really, like 10 years ago, you're like, hey, dude, you're going to be homeless and struggling and you're going to apply to a dish pit and they're going to turn you down because of bribery and your whole bribe... <laughs> And they're going to accuse you of bribery because you were trying to convince them that, like, another dishwasher wouldn't come with a benefit, I guess. I just, it's a weird spot to be in, man. You know, I hope anybody watching this video, take care of yourself. Don't, don't end up red in a room in a homeless shelter after street living and then just general area living, you know, in those bunk bed scenarios of 30 other fucking people. You don't avoid all of that. This is just... It hurts your ego, dude. It hurts your ego. Anyway, this hotel job. I am... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna quit this job. I just can't take it. I know it's only 20 hours a week, but, like, I'm not getting... art done. I've almost relapsed a few times, to be honest with you. And, like, I shouldn't. It's not, like, a high amount of stress. I'm ashamed of the way it gets, like, right up under my skin, but it does... It does a lot of the time, you know? And, like, I'm a guy who thinks about stuff. So not only am I there just kind of, like, dealing with a bunch of nothing, I'm thinking, like, man, what is this position in life? I work 20 hours a week. 
at a hotel cleaning it, living in a homeless shelter. This is so fucking pathetic, you know? And, like, maybe maybe one day I'll, like, if I ever find a shovel that just is a label on it and it's called the emotional shovel, I'm going to hit myself in the head as hard as I can with the emotional shovel. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I just give myself a 25% lobotomy, I'll care less about insecurity and stuff and then I do way better. But it just sucks. So if I mention next week that I quit my job, you know why. And yeah, just that little bit of added stress. It's like I'm not really making art. Um, the quality of my videos went down a lot. I stopped doing like Patreon stuff. It's just, it's just a little bit of stress can really mess you up when you don't have a whole lot going on in life. And that's like completely opposite of what you hear when you're in a better situation. You always think and hear, you know, you, know, you look down on somebody who's like homeless. And you're like, man, if you just got your shit together, dude, just a few weeks and save it up. And it's like, I don't even know how to express it still. It's just the reality is... The reality is a lot different. It's a lot more fucking depressing than you'd assume. Like, if if shit makes you sad and you're not homeless, when you're homeless, shit's it's really gonna it's really gonna hurt you. You know, like just any type of negative thought is magnified times a thousand because it has so much legitimacy behind it. It's hard, you know. It's hard not to. It's hard to get stuff done. And kind of like not hate yourself when there's so many legitimate reasons to actually hate what's going on in your life. So I'm probably going to quit. <laughs> Have a great day, okay?